hello guys oh, welcome back so today's video is a detailed like a very detailed frontal installation so in this video guys uh, you guys are going to learn how to flawlessly slay a frontal i want you guys to watch from the beginning to the end so first i'm just uh, curling her hair as usual just her hair is natural so i'm curling it all back so before the corn roll, you guys already know. So I washed my client hair with shampoo and conditioner just so that after installation, it will not be itchy for her. Like the hair won't itch her. So I wash her hair with shampoo and conditioner, then use hand dryer to dry the hair. rolling i'm just laying her edges first because i do not want anything to get in the way while i am installing the frontal so i'm laying the her edges uh, with a a gel so before i start you know prepping and doing all of that or before i start doing the main install i like to you know size the cap on her head first just to know if it actually fit and if it doesn't i have to make some adjustment to the cap so this is the first thing you need to do first because there are different cap sizes so you need to be sure that the cap or the wig is your client or it fits your client hope you hope it makes sense hope you guys get what i mean I'm just checking all the sides to just be sure that this hair or this wig actually fits my client. It's my client's size of wig before I go ahead to start doing all the preparation or all the frontal laying, all the process of frontal laying. After fitting it or measure, after fitting it onto her head first, just take it off and then go ahead to dry the gel that I applied initially, guys. So yeah, I forgot to dry the gel first. So that's what I'm actually doing right now. I'm using a hand dryer to just dry the hair like so. And after that, we'll just go ahead to use this stockings cap. This stockings cap is way, way lighter than her. But finally, I just made it work. So I'm using a stockings cap and i am just arranging it like so wearing it on her head first and then you know stretching it just stretch it so much just so that and um, when i try to lay it on that that's the front part of the head it will look seamless after placing the stockings cap on her head i'm using this got to be spray the free spray to just spray on the front part of the stockings cap just for the ear sides to lay very well like for the ear sides to be perfectly laid so i'm just sticking or i'm making a hole and then trying to open it to cover her hair side so this is what i'm actually doing to the sides of i'm going to do i'm going to repeat the same thing to the other side of the ear so the stocky the essence of this stocking scalp is just to protect her hair lines so yeah i'm laying the stocking scalp first and i'm using this spray once i'm done with the ear sides i'm just going to use my hand dryer to just dry the spray i actually applied or i sprayed on her head initially so yeah that's what i'm actually doing while waiting for the spray to get dry i'm going to use a needle and a thread to just sew the back side of the stockings cap so yeah i like this is what i like to do because i don't like my i don't like it when my client complain about the stiffness of the stockings cap at the back so i like to just you know cut off the excess at the back so before cutting off the excess at the back i like to just sew in sew the sew the middle part of the stockings cap with needle and thread before i go ahead to just cut off all the excess at the back do your clients complain about the stockings cap making them feel very uncomfortable so let me know in the comment section below After sewing the middle part, we just go ahead to, you know, cut off the excess in front first before I go ahead to cut off the excess at the back. And I'm going to be using, I'm using a scissors to achieve this. So right now I'm just, I'm applying uh, the glue on the stockings cap. So this first glue I'm applying is just to further lay the stockings cap. Now, I want to give you guys a trick. So, before 
before cutting off the excess of the stocking cap, you just want to be sure. That's why that's one of the reasons why I measured the wig cap first. That's the main wig cap I'm going to be laying. That's the frontal wig cap. I measured it first because I wanted to know the exact position, the exact place I'm going to be laying the front end. So I'm not going to allow the stocking scalp to reach that part. So I'm only going to cover up the essay, but I'm going to drag the stock the frontal hair i'm going to drag it a little bit forward from the stocking scalp hope you, hope you guys get what i mean so that after laying it it's going to look like it's coming directly from her scalp because sometimes i see people like lay stocking scalp and then place the frontal directly under the stocking scalp and it comes out looking white so when you try to do this this method i just talked about now you are going to notice that you get a flawless look so i'm going to just cover the front part that's her hairline with the stocking scalp and when i'm applying or laying the front eye, i'm going to stretch it a little bit forward from the stocking scalp hope you guys understand it a little bit forward from the stocking just a little bit just so that after laying it on her head it's going to just look so natural and it will not give like a whitish look moving on i'm just using um the shade of her powder to just cover up the stocking because the stocking scalp i told you guys is looking so white like it's not her shade or her skin tone so i'm just using powder to just you know blend it up especially the front part just so that when i lay the front eye it's going to look flawless so yeah that's what i'm doing i'm using the shade of her powder with a brush i'm just applying it with a blush with a brush <laughs> all right after the application or after using the powder i'm just placing the wig on her head like so and like you guys can see i'm dragging it a little bit forward so that i don't lay the front that's the front side the edges on directly under the a stocking scalp i just want it to be further like i want i'm moving it forward a little bit and before the laying or installation of the front hair, i already prepped the hair like the wig i prepped it like i bleached the front hair and also tint the lace so if you want a detailed video on that you can leave a comment in the comment section below so once i'm sure that everything is fine i'm just using a hand dryer to just brush everything backwards just to lay the front part a little bit like just brush everything or comb everything backwards so that nothing will get in the way while i when i apply a a glue all right now i'm very sure of the placement where i'm going to place the front tab so i'm just going to use the glue now just i'm going to be using this glue or i'm going to use this glue like three times the application will be like three times so i'll put the first layer first and then spread it and allow it to dry not dry just get sticky or allow it to just change color from this chalk white color to like a clear color then i apply another one again allow it to do the same just repeatedly i will do that like three times allow it to change color from chalk white color to clear white and then apply the last one before i finally place the frontal on her head so guys uh, what glue do you use um just let me know in the comment section below for me i use bow board hold so that's what i actually use for installation but what glue do you use let's get chatting in the comment section <laughs>
Thank you.